Bless up, bless up everybody. We're live here on the Roots Right You Hub. I'm going to be speaking with Empress Divine tonight. Empress Ever So Divine on Instagram. We are going to talk about her music, her movements, and the Wagwan here in the T dot. Bless up everybody joining me tonight. Thank you, whether you're joining me from Twitter, Instagram, Periscope, wherever you might be tuning in from, TuneIn app, Alexa, Google. We are live here on the Roots Reggae Hub. This is Brat Brat by playing, <laughs> playing in the background here by Empress Divine. One of the artists featured on Kingston Fest this summer, one of the biggest festivals of the summer. I don't know if you guys were there. It must have been at least 30,000 people at this festival. Uh, she was one of the Toronto artists on the lineup. All right. Yes. This is the Melody Mondays. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I see you, Horace. I see everybody popping in on Twitter, DMing me. Thank you for your constant support and love. Check it. Listen to this song. No violence in Toronto. And the gun violence, guys, here in Toronto and worldwide. We don't need no gun violence, guys. Bless up, bless up. I hope everyone has been having a safe summer. A safe summer. If you're tuned in live here on the radio, if you're tuned in around the world, thank you for joining me. The Bless up all the Roots Reggae Hub family around the world. If you're tuning in on the Instagram, thank you for joining me tonight. It's another Melody Mondays. You know how it goes. Every single week, I interview an artist here on the Roots Reggae Hub. This week, I'm interviewing Empress Divine. That was her single, Brat Brat, uh, that I was playing on the intro here. Big tune, obviously. We don't like gun violence here on the Roots Reggae Hub. We don't like any form of violence, period towards anyone at any time for any reason. So keep the comments tonight polite, keep the comments, you know, upful and supportive here on the Roots Reggae Hub. That's how we like it, all right? We don't wanna see or feel any negativity. Bless up all the Torontonians that are coming in and joining me tonight or tuning in. Uh, this is a Toronto artist, Empress Divine. She has been topping some of the Canadian reggae charts here in Toronto, of course, um, and across Canada. And she is also one of the artists, like I said, that was featured on Kingston Fest, one of the Canadian artists featured on Kingston Fest this year. I don't know how many of you guys were there, but it was totally insane as far as the turnout goes. Um, Big up to everybody that's coming in and joining me tonight. I'm going to talk to Empress Divine, reason with the Empress for a bit, as to her musical movements. It's been a long two, going on three years for a lot of the artists and DJs, and they had to, you know, figure things out, figure out how they were going to move forward in um, times of uncertainty. At the end of the day, it's times of uncertainty, you know. You never know uh, what is going to happen or what's going to, uh, happen in the world that's going to affect your art. It's going to affect your business, whether it be a physical business with an address or whether it be an online digital business like this one, Roots Reggae Hub, of course. Um, and as an artist, if you're touring, doing concerts, it, it affected everybody, you know, mentally and uh, financially, I'm sure. But some people found a way. And Empress Divine is one of those artists that did find a way. She was able to, you know, come out with some new brand new music, which I'm excited to talk about tonight. The track that she has with Black Orchid as well. Um, single Girl Blues, 
which is a big track and another uh, track that she recently released called Sweet Jamaica. Big up all the Jamaicans who are tuning in from Jamaica. Big up all the Jamaicans here in the city of the, uh, Toronto in the six and big up all the Jamaicans worldwide. Um, you know, unity is essential for a community to be one, you know, for a community to come together and to be a community. You know, we have to stick together as we've seen many times before. Well, Empress Divine is here, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring her in. I think that was my own little intro as to who she is tonight, um, but I would love for her to herself in her own words. Bless up King Arts joining in. Arthur, how are you tonight? Great Bless up, Empress Divine, how are you? I am great, how are you doing? I'm doing so good. Thank you for joining me tonight. Problem. <laughs> we are live to air on the radio. Keep that in mind. 228 countries around the world tuning in. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> I was playing <laughs> I was playing your brat brap song for oh, them. Okay. Nice. Yeah, the brat brap song because it, it speaks to the violence, you know, the ending the gun violence. Oh. And that's such an important topic, not only here in Toronto, but around the world. Tell me if you can hear me so good. Sweet. Yeah, can you hear me? Sorry, can you still, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you yeah, now. Sorry I can about hear that. Yeah, okay, no worries, no worries. Yeah, no, I was saying that the, the song Rap Rap, like, to me, it's it's a wicked beat on top of it. Your voice sounds amazing. Okay. You know, you sound like a, a, a goddess, so, you know, a songstress, of course. Okay. Um, beautiful uh, vocals coming from you, but the message in the music is also a very important one. Can you speak to that? Yes, definitely. Um, that song was written years ago, actually. But it's like, um, everybody can relate to it now. At, at any time, you know, past, present, future. Because there's so many things that have been going on around the world and in Toronto. So that's what really inspired me. Um, you know, with all the gun violence that's been happening around in, in Toronto, that's what really inspired me to write that song. Um, so it's just basically just, you know, telling everybody that we need to seize from all the war and the gun violence, because all we're doing is we're hurting ourselves, we're decreasing our population. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's just black on black violence is what it is at the end of the day. And we need to find different strategies or resources to try and help this to stop because it's just, it's, it's mashing up the community. Yes. So I wanted to write a song about it. You know, I still actually want to do a video for this song, even though, you know, this song is so, you know, so long ago. This was, um, different communities and, um, and, you know, just bring the community together. I think this would be a song that could bring the community together you know, this with the message. Yes, it definitely Maybe can. And I was just talking yeah. about that, bringing yeah. the community together, um, you know, because you do have a new track too. I, 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 before I get into all the music, because I'm excited <laughs> about the music, I'm yeah. getting ahead of myself a little bit because the new tracks are fire coming from you. And I love that you push through and you're releasing new tracks in 2022 after yeah. everything we've been through. But for everyone that's never heard of you or never heard your music, tell everyone who Empress Divine is in your own words. Empress Divine is a soulful songstress. I've been in the, you know, in the reggae scene uh, for quite some time now, I could say over 10 years. Um, I started off, you know, I've always gravitated towards music from a child, you know, growing up um, from let's say eight years old, you know, going to elementary school then going to high school, I was always the one to, you know, be the dancer and the singer. You know what I mean? Um, always uh, at school assemblies, talent shows and things like that until until I um, decided to make it, you know, this, I decided to pursue it more. I, I was encouraged by so much people around me. So that was, you know, that was a blessing that other people recognized my talent as well. And um, yeah, and then I started to pursue it. I, um, yeah, so that's, that's where the foundation is. I, I love that. Yeah. yeah. I love that you started at such a young age and the, the age of eight is a very spiritual number. Eight in, in its totality is a very spiritual number. It represents, you know, infinite, eternal. Um, so it was clearly a, a calling, I would like to say, a divine calling, whatnot, you know, uh, for that age as well for you. Tell me, you know, so how did you, how was your childhood growing up? You say, you know, you started young. So how, what, how did your family life influence that for you? Well, um, Growing up, let's say, in my early years, in my early years was, was great. I, you know, at eight years old, actually, that's when I lost my mother. You know, so um, it was very rough for me after that. So music also was a healing for me as well. So that kind of helped me go through that journey of her not being there. Yeah. 
Wow. And at such a young age, you lose your mother. You know, I can't imagine what you might have experienced. And again, that number is so significant, too, even more than I thought, because that was such an early and young, you know, age and influential age where you lost someone, your, your pillar in your life, essentially, you know. So that's why it was so important for me to, to do the song for her called Mama. I don't know if you played it yet or if you're Yes. Gonna... That's what was so important for me to do that, do that song, to pay homage to her and just so that, you know, just, just to, again, just give thanks. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. You know what I mean? So I, I definitely had to pay homage to my mother. She did so much for me before, before she even passed it. I remember, you know, myself. So, you know, I had to do a song and a video to, to definitely, um, definitely highlight, you know, everything that she did for me in a nutshell. Amazing. I'm going to play a clip of that song um, really quick. I can't play out the full song here on Instagram just because with Instagram and it's Instagram jail, I can't afford to be in it. So <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to play a little clip for that for everybody who's tuning in on the radio and worldwide. And of course, here on Instagram, I'm going to try to keep it, you know, under a minute just so that I don't get flagged or anything like that. Um, but I also want to speak of other music as well but since we're in honoring your mom right now in this moment i would love and all the mothers out there you know um i have an incredible mother as well i'm honoring her too with this song it's such a beautiful song so i'm going to play it here now for everybody tuned in thank you so much for gay hug in honor of empress divine's mother for my mother annette and uh, it's produced by consequence music yeah so big up Empress Divine, ah, uh, you know, you sound, you sound like amazing. Um, it's a heartfelt song too on top of it. So I can understand, um, you know, the emotion behind it. And I always say that the most powerful music and the most moving music, moving music, sorry, is ones that come from the heart, you right. know, come from the true feeling behind it. You know, it, otherwise it's lacking in some sense, you know, and you can hear it. And, but you're speaking from the heart. It's gorgeous. I only played 43 seconds, guys. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to hear the full song for yourself. Go out yeah. stream the song on all platforms, support the song, download the song and buy the song. Um, yes. And anyone going through what you've gone through or maybe going through it now, you know, for sure. Definitely, it's a song that people can relate to. Anyone that's lost someone, you know, lost their mother at a young age, any any age, you can definitely relate to this song. It's a tribute. Yes, thank you for that. Thank you for sharing a part of your soul, you know, in that song. Um, tell me what other creative inspirations do you have in life um, that goes into your music? What other creative inspirations? Um, well, just music on a whole inspires me, you know. Um, the Most High is my biggest inspiration because without life, I wouldn't be here. So that's like the greatest inspiration for me to 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 want to write a song. I definitely, um, you know, just being in, um, you know, just meditation, just meditating on, you know, different things that helps with um, with writing music and creating, coming up with concepts. Um, definitely just life experiences on a whole is what really inspires me to, to do music. Uh, living and firsthand experience and putting that into music and that is a strength in its own because you know you're you're giving up your parts of yourself you're exposing parts of yourself within your music and I you know I shout out to you and thank you for doing that you know it's giving us a, a kind of a more of an in, a inner look inside of you and inside of who you are as an artist uh, tell me about Sweet Jamaica you know it's Jamaica's 60th year was that something that had to do with the song like how did that song concept production team tell me everything? <laughs> so that song, <laughs> sure. that song was actually a, a pandemic song, really. So it, it actually um, it was written. So it was written and recorded actually before the pandemic. But 
with everything happening, um, we just decided not to release it as yet because we wanted to just put it out when it was, you know, the right time to put it out. And big up Taj produ Production right there. Like I see him. He's the one who mixed and mastered the songs through Jamaica. Consequence Music. So I see that you tuned in. Big up yourself. Yeah, so... Um, Sweet Jamaica has been a journey. Really, I just really want to just tap into my Jamaican heritage. You know, you know what I mean? And just highlight the natural environment of the Caribbean islands, really. Um, there's so much things going on in Jamaica then and now that people are very hesitant and reluctant to visit the islands, you know? So I wanted this song to bring back that vibe, bring back that energy and that culture, make people feel, to make people feel safe to come back to Jamaica and enjoy the whole vibe because Jamaica is a vibe on its own. Everybody wants to go to Jamaica, want to visit Jamaica, <laughs> want to be Jamaican in general, you know what I mean? So this song was just really to bring back that vibe and just show, you know, with, um, with, with, with the visual and the lyrics, just display why everybody should want to visit and experience, you know, the Jamaican culture. So um, the video is actually, honestly, the video is not even out yet. It was supposed to drop. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Steve. Uh, the condolences. Thank you. Um, so big up Black Orchid, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of people popping in, yes. Yeah, so, um, yeah, the, the video is actually not out as yet, but it will be. Uh, it will be dropping very, very soon, and I hope y'all love it. It's a, it's a beautiful visual. Um, I, I took a musical, a musical journey uh, back in about 2019, 2020, and um, recorded a, a couple, a couple different songs, and shot the video. Um, and I shot my video for you know Natty Afro Grow, and it was just uh, hey, big yeah, tune. It was, yeah, it was a, it was, a, it was a great vibe. It was a, a good musical journey, I'll say. Yeah, it was a good vibe. Yeah. Oh my gosh, such a good track. I have been playing Sweet Jamaica in some of the promo. I'm sure some of you guys have seen it. If you're on Instagram or on Twitter, you must have seen it. Beautiful track. Um, I do want to play a, a little snippet of it really quick for you guys. Like I said, I'm going to keep it under a certain amount. Um, I don't want to be jailed here on, <laughs> on Instagram. But I do want to play a little bit and then we're going to talk about Single Girl Blues, which is an amazing track with Black Orchid who I saw come into the chat. You ladies, um, the collaboration was the match made in heaven with your voices. So uh, we're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, but big up all my Jamaicans around the world. I love y'all. We see y'all. Happy 60th. You know, yes. so big up everybody. I made sure um, uh, when I uh, performed at the, the Kingston Fest, I made sure I came out of my colors to represent for the 60, you know, for the 60th of Jamaica. <laughs> yes, I, I mentioned that to everybody that you're one of the artists on the lineup for Kingston Fest. I could say there was probably 30 to 40,000 people there, probably the biggest festival of the year. Yeah. Yeah, reggae festival, if not festival in, in general for the summer, um, you know, and it was huge. And, and Empress Divine, yes, you were there repping the, you know, Making the colors. black, gold, and yellow. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> with my dancers and everything. So it was, it was a good luck. It was a great vibe. It was an amazing vibe. So here is Sweet Jamaica, Empress right. Divine. Yes, I. It's Reggae Radio. It's Reggae Hub. Boy. Na, 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 na. Jamaica, Empress Divine. I'm giving you guys like a little taste of what's going here after the show, after I wrap here. I'm going to be playing all of these songs out in full for you guys, especially, well, the radio listeners, of course, and anyone on Instagram that's not tuned in on the radio. After this interview ends on Instagram, you can tune in, you can hear all the tracks. I'll be playing all of them front to back for everybody, for the worldwide listeners. All right. So remember, support the thing. Where are you? What's your YouTube? Where oh. they can find you on YouTube? Empress Divine. 
Empress Divine. So it's Empress Divine on YouTube. Can I have a, you guys can go a Vivo channel as well. So you can check out my Vivo as well. Empress Divine Vivo. Um, yeah. Empress Divine. Okay, perfect. So make sure you guys go support that. You, you know, the videos are coming out that we're getting a little taste and tease of what's happening, what's what's yes. coming up. Uh, talk to me about Single Girl Blues. How did the how did the collaboration um, come to be? How did you birth that collaboration, production, and, and concept, and all that good stuff? <laughs> you need a lot. You probably gonna need a lot more time for this one. So uh, this has also been a pandemic, a pandemic song as well. So we actually wrote this song before the pandemic. So me and Black Orchid have been, you know, sisters friends for quite some time. You know, um, we met through music, right? Uh, we actually met at stages. I think probably about 2016. Right. And um, always been in contact with each other. I want to work on different projects. But, you know, life happens and, you know, things sometimes things take time. Nothing happens before it's time, we should say. Um, so then we ended up linking up in about 2019. And one thing I read about the sister is that, like, you know, she was just so receptive to working with me because I've approached other females, you know, in the industry to, you know, want to work with them. But it's always like, oh, I'm working on a project right now and I got to wrap it up. And before we can do anything else and <laughs> you know what i mean so this is true and she gets so much so much respect because she embraced it from the beginning so i think this is why it, it was so amazing and why the song came out the way it came out because trust me the energy was there from the jump so um yeah we we um we she um she did her part on it and um she sent me she sent me a you know a version of the song and I was like, yo, I, I definitely got to get on this. Like, this song is just, this is amazing. When I first heard it, I'm like, this is um, this fire. So um, we linked up, went to the studio. Originally it, was, um, originally, it was recorded at Warrior Love Studio, right? But um, different, different little things had to be um, different. We had different little hiccups in the song, and we just had to keep perfecting it, perfecting it. Then we ended up, um, you know, creating a rhythm for it. So now... <laughs> so like I said, it's been it's been such a long process, a long journey throughout the whole fact yes. that we've been linking up. This song's been mixed and mastered probably like four times <laughs> before. Well, kudos to you for being able to do that through a, a, the pandemic. You know, a lot of people yeah. suffered mentally, financially, but, you know, for the artists that were able to hone their art and focus in, you know, I have to big you up because it was hard. It was hard on everybody, DJs, artists, selectors. Yeah. You know, radio, everything. Like, it doesn't matter. Anyone in the industry was feeling it because if you guys are, if the artists are feeling it, we're feeling it. No concerts, you know, things of that nature. So, we're definitely feeling it, but still made use of our time, which is great. Exactly, exactly. Um, so, bless up to you and Black Orchid for doing that. But what, what's the single girl blues? Like, what are the single ladies? Like, what is that? <laughs> we need to know. Just be, it's just the single girl blues is just basically frustration. Just the, the, just the frustrations that come along with dating. You know what I mean? And, you know, certain expectations that are set and that they don't fall, follow through. You know what I mean? So um, I just, just, before we go into more of the blues, just want to definitely um, big up the people that helped with the program, like with the process of Single Girl Blues of, you know, creating the rhythm. This was, this was, you know, produced by myself and Black Orchid, but definitely have to big up um, my husband, I know because he basically helped us connect all the dots <laughs> with this song in terms of, um, in terms of building the rhythm, uh, this rhythm was actually built um, in, uh, by a band in Suriname. Um, so, and it was mixed and mastered um, in Jamaica. So yeah, so definitely have to give thanks to him for connecting all the dots for us and helping us, um, you know, put together this project. Um, yeah, this, this, this song was just basically, I know <laughs> I'll speak for Black Orchid, but it's just, it's the frustrations of dating. Most of the time, I like to be alone. The season is changing now, I wish that I was home. You know, cuddling with someone that would keep me warm for the night. <laughs> that special someone who would treat me right. But I know, I know I'm not ready for love. Because it's like sometimes you go through a situation. It's like when you're, not, you're, you're, you're single, you're by yourself, and you can't find anybody. And then after it's like you meet someone, and then someone else comes along to confuse the meditation. So it's just... <laughs> That's so true. You're like, all of a sudden you're in a relationship and then there's like some third party coming involved. Oh my gosh, I, I feel you. <laughs> but you know how it is, you know? You can't find anybody. There's, there's, you're by yourself and there's nobody that comes along. And then as soon as you start to be interested in someone, bam, all of a sudden all these different people are coming at you. You know what I mean? Yes, that's always how it works in ladies, right? And ladies that are in a relationship, you know that's how it works. You're talking the truth right now. It is, it is. But you know, the whole joke is, it's like, it's not even just women, 
that ha are gravitating to this song, men, a lot of men are gravitating to this song. Mm. Like men that have reached out to me, they're like, yo, send me this song. I love this song. And it's like, you know, it's a, it's a blessing that it's touching everyone, man and woman, you know? Yes. All right. So I'm going to play a little clip for you guys um, so you guys can get the vibe of what it is and what it's about. Single Girl Blues, Big Tune by Empress Divine and Black Orchid. Pick up all the single ladies around the world, all the single ladies tuned in tonight. We love y'all. We see y'all. We're a community too, <laughs> ladies, you know? So we gotta support each other. Hmm? I'll pull up on the track right now. <laughs> Divine and Black Orchid here live on the RootsReggaeHub.com. Oh, <laughs> we turn it up a little bit longer. All right. Wishing I had someone to hold me. Still I'm patient waiting. Right now I'm the one who consoles me. Cause I made up my mind that I can't be single until it gets fine. Some more than it's mine. <laughs> Big track here. Bye. Right. Very <laughs> soon. You guys make sure you support stream and download to buy the song. You guys gotta support the music for all the artists that are doing big things in Toronto and around the world. Big up yourself, Black Orchid, and big up, big up yourself, Empress Divine. Thank you for doing that. That's like, a, that's like an anthem right there for the single lady. That's a single lady's anthem, the new anthem, taking over. Yeah. Yes, and hi, Ainoa. How are you in the chat there? Thank you, everyone, joining me tonight here on the Roots Reggae Hub. Tell me about maybe future collaborations that you might have thought of. Who have you dreamed of potentially maybe working together? Who do you think might be a good connect you know with the voice like that was a, a perfect match made in heaven between you two ladies so who might you work together in the future do you see yourself maybe collaborating with a, a male maybe in the future um yes definitely um definitely well i'll be collaborating with with my husband very soon <laughs> okay so yes so that's coming out soon and um you know i actually want to collaborate with queen africa you know she's someone that i would i would like to collaborate with either queen africa or queen omega Another queen, you know what I mean? Yes, uh, yes. That was a blessing, you know? Yes, um, I love that. I would love to see you with Queen Omega or Queen Africa, yes. yes. Love to collaborate with Sizzla. You know, there's just, there's so many, so many different artists, you know. And something new with your husband coming out, is that coming out soon or? I'm soon working on it, so it's definitely gonna, definitely be coming out soon for sure. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love that you guys are working together and you're, you can get creative together. That must make your relationship even more passionate, you know what I mean? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> love is, love is an amazing thing, you know? I love that. I love that you guys are doing something together. That, that makes me a little sweaty. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's talk a little bit about your spiritual journey. I always like to, you know, dive deep into the minds of the artists who I'm, I'm speaking with and reason a little bit about spirituality. Tell me, you know, something you have learned over the years or, or even more recently, if, if that's what it pertains to, you know, that change your perspective on life and liberty. 
Um, I could definitely say along the journey, I've learned that it's what you put in is what you get out. You know, if you don't put in that, um, that energy into certain things, anything that you're doing in life, you're not going to get anything out of it. You know what I mean? So um, that's one thing um, I learned. And also another thing I learned along my journey is that, um, you know, just dealing with people, you know, some people don't want to see you. Some people want to see you do good, but never as good as them or even better. That's another thing that I've learned along my journey. So it's kind of like I've just learned to just focus on more myself because I feel like I've put in too much energy into things that have not helped me prosper along my journey. So right now it's just more, more putting myself, more diving myself into, into my music and putting myself, putting, you know, putting myself into something that I can get something back out of. It's so important the energy that we give out and what we pay attention to because everything in this entire universe is made up of energy. We are energy um, and we feed off of each other's energy. So it's so important yeah. to surround yourself with, with like-minded people that can rise you up and not tear you down, you know? It's all about free. We're all frequencies, you know what I mean? Musical, m music is, is, a, is, a, is spirituality. It's something that you feel. It's not something that you really see, you know what I mean? So yes. Yeah embrace that and share it and yeah so uh, you have a song called real friends too and that's that's somewhere along the lines you know that's a that's a big track as well um so kudos to you on, on also that track that kind of speaks to to that you know that part of your journey as well um tell me something most people don't know about you or would never in a hundred million years guess um well, um, you know, throughout the pandemic, I went back to school and I did nursing and I graduated. So that was, uh, that was. Congratulations. Uh, oh my God. Yes. Things. I got married in the, you know, in the pandemic. So that I was, saw that on social media. I was like, yeah. what? Oh, yeah. so beautiful. The pictures, you look gorgeous. Thank you so much. I really appreciate love that. Um, yeah, that's, that's something that people wouldn't know that I went back to school and um, I'm a mother. People actually know that because I, I post that pretty frequently on. <laughs> yeah. That's wonderful. Um, congratulations on, you know, those big, huge milestones that happened during, you know, a difficult time for all of us and for you to be able to find positive in such a dark space in the world, such a dark time in the world, for you to come out like a shining star through it, stronger and more vibrant and beautiful than ever. Thank you also for taking the time, you know, with me tonight. I know you're a busy woman and you have a lot going on right now creatively. Um, but, you know, I always like to touch base and check in with, especially the Toronto artists. I do a lot of interviews with other artists from internationally. And I, I love those interviews as well. But I think this is my home base and, you know, you're doing big things. So I wanted to definitely shine the spotlight on you tonight. And uh, and I saw you at King's Fest. I was like, wow, you know, you look fit. You look, you look great. You know, so I was like, well, you're definitely your aura is bright. <laughs> Thank you. That's another thing. I, I um, took my my fitness and my health um, more seriously. I would say even throughout the pandemic, like I was working out, um, going to boot camps and going through different doing different exercises and different activities, just trying to you know different meditations just to help me, um, you know, to feel better about myself and just to kind of get fit. And um, you know, throughout my journey, it was inspirational to others as well. So I'm glad that I was able to even share my journey with other people because I lost, you know, a lot of weight and people were like, oh my God, what'd you, you look do? amazing. I was like, what? <laughs> you look so beautiful. I don't know who designed the outfit too, but it was just, yeah, you just look fine. Yes, BBX is the one that designed the, um, designed the jacket for me. So thank you so much. Like, well, the whole outfit was inspired BBX. So thank you so much for that. Yes. 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 Any other events coming up or projects that we should look yeah. forward to, look out yeah. to? I mean, you mentioned the one with your husband, but anything else that maybe you're going to be performing, people can catch you or sure. music wise? Right yeah. here. Black Girl Magic. <laughs> Black Girl Magic. Yes. Black Girl Magic. So this is happening September 16th. Um, this is a plush pink uh, entertainment. Um, they're presenting this. It's actually an all-female lineup. So it's, um, it's MC, MC Naz. Uh, she's actually going to be the host. And um, DJ Isa Vibes is going to be DJing alongside uh, DJ uh, Susie, Saucy Susie, as well as uh, DJ Kashala is also going to be on it as well. So that's going to be happening at the JC. Right, yeah, that's going to be happening. Be happening? You cut uh, out for a second. Where did you say it's happening? 
it's going to be happening at um at the JCA, the Jamaican Canadian Association. JCA, Jamaican Canadian Association, big up, yes. September 16th. That's a whole vibe. Yes, it is. So it's gonna it's gonna be. I haven't been I haven't been to the JCA in so long because the pandemic they kind of shut down, and um you know and all that. So it's gonna be nice to actually get back at the JCA because I used to have parties there myself, you know. So yeah, it's gonna be a good vibe. I also have another yes. coming up um on the 29th of october so big up fada bonti on that one i don't really have too much um, information on that one but that's another one to to look out for also um also me and black orchid we're going to be putting out we're going to be putting on like a, a single release party a single yeah party. okay i want my invitation oh. um make sure it comes for me <laughs> awesome where is that gonna be uh that, so that we're, we're working on the venue right now so i'll definitely Stay tuned for the, the venue. I don't want to speak to it before everything's solidified, but yeah. um, that's going to be coming up between next month. But between September, October, we're gonna we're gonna be shooting the video for Single Girl Blues and um, having that single release party, having some artists pass through and come bless it. And yeah, it's gonna be a great vibe. Yes. All right. I'm looking forward to that vibe. I'm looking forward to the party. And bless up everybody that came in and tuned in today. Whether wherever you are, uh, we're cutting it a little bit short today. I wanted to talk a little bit longer but i know i know things are happening and uh there's a lot going on and summer's yes. almost done isn't that sad i'm so sad it's like right after caravana summer's finished yeah it's like it's already cold like it was freezing last night i was like oh man this is this is a sign that it's ending um do you have any shout outs for anybody before i let you go you shouted out a lot of people along the way and i also want you to you know let everyone know where they can find you on social media facebook twitter instagram all that good stuff yes um uh you can find me instagram empress ever so divine with underscores in between um also on my uh, facebook empress divine music and excuse me twitter twitter is empress divine 24 and you can also check me out on my vivo page empress divine vivo or on my youtube page empress divine um people want to shout out want to shout out my husband want to shout out my daughter i want to shout out um you know people that have helped with the progression of my music along my journey you know the radio disc jockeys anybody that's played my song you know bigged me up want to big up yourself thank you so much for having me tonight as well it was a pleasure being here and, and reasoning with you empress it's always nice to see your beautiful face i watch you you know when you're doing all these <laughs> Live interviews and admire you and admire the works that you've been doing. So definitely, oh, thank you so much. Shout you out. I remember seeing you before the pandemic and you know, all the Black Lives Matters um, rallies and you know what I mean. So I just want to shout you out as well. So thank you so videos. much. Want to big up uh, Mix Master J. He was like the first person that bust our song Single Girl Blues before it was even mixed and mastered um, on his on his program. So definitely want to big him up. Want to big up uh, Music Phil um, out of Jamaica because they've just been endorsing this song so much i want to big up dj um rads from australia that's um you know been playing the song um so many djs dj double bounce in uh in raleigh um north carolina also just want to big him up too because he's just like loves the song and like i said Amazing. like i said the song it's not just for for women but men have been gravitating to this song oh yeah plus single men loves the single ladies like, they're, just, they're, just, they're looking for a lady so they're like oh where are you at single ladies i'm here i'm supporting you too <laughs> <laughs> yes i would be playing it 100 percent, and i will be playing it i'm already playing it as long as as well as all of your music of course so remember radio listeners keep it locked here i'm gonna be playing all of Empress Divine's music out in full after the show, after we end it here on Instagram, come over to RootsReggaeHub.com. You can even Alexa it, Google it, you know, like, just talk, say, play Roots Reggae Hub, and it'll come on, you know, a tune-in app. It's, you know, it's a global movement. So, yes, keep it locked here for all things Empress Divine, all right? And support the artist, follow her, share her stuff, and make sure you guys tune in next week, Monday at 8 o'clock. Bless yeah. up yourself, Empress. Much more blessings to you. A couple more people I just want to big up as well, though. Okay, yes, want to yes, just... everybody. Don't oh, forget yes. a person. Exactly. Well, I'll try whoever I forgot. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I'll also Tanya Mullings as well because we recently just did a recently did an interview with Tanya at uh, G. As far sorry, at Flow. <laughs> oh my God. I know. I do that all the time. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, big up Tanya Mullings and Carrie Mullings. Definitely. Yes. Carrie Mullings, because she's also been, you know, playing the song as well on, on her program. It's, all, it's on the rotation as well at, um, at Vibe FM. So definitely just want to big up all the people that have just been supporting the journey. Want to big up uh, King Arts as well for all his designs and his creations. I know you work with him as well. So Yes, I do. Um, yeah, there's so much people to pick up that have been along this been along this journey, this musical journey with me, and I just want to, you know, say thank you. Uh, even Sir B, everyone that's promoting the song, sharing the song, liking the song, loving. Lady Sharon too. Oh. Lady Sharon was like, "You gotta interview Empress Divine." I was like, "Are you sure you don't want to do?" She was like, "Yeah, no, you interview her. Her music is <laughs> like Lady Sharon is like your number one fan as well. Like she's amazing. Oh, I love her." Pick up Lady Sharon anywhere you stand up. I saw her at Kingston Press as well. We did an interview there as well. I haven't seen it as yet, but we did do an yeah. interview. Uh, at Kingston Fest as well. Also, just want to take the time to big up um, Empress Ashai as well. Y'all can check out, check out her top 10 charts. I've been on the, her top 10 charts for quite some time now. Real Friends is there. So vote me to number one, y'all. Okay, so I can exit yes, off. Yes, go and vote now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> go and vote. Yes, yeah. yeah, pick up all the DJs, all the female DJs and selectors and the male DJs and selectors supporting this track. And keep it locked here to hear all of Empress Divine music following the show. Back to back to back, Empress Divine. It's a vibe. It's, a, it's definitely a vibe, a Monday motivation vibe for everybody, all right? One love, Empress Divine. I love Have my a great mom. night. We'll talk soon, okay? It sounds great. Okay, you take Blessed care. Love. Love. Mwah. Rastafari. Bye. Bye.